spending the majority of their time chasing that rush of adrenaline, of seeing something unexpected. When the shiny hunter hears this sound, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh. It's like a euphoric moment, because you know what that means. All the tedious hours of resetting, traveling to the same exact outbreak, the journey of cold hard dedication and hard work, all the blood, sweat, and tears finally pays off for the shiny hunter and turns into an absolute gratifying experience. Oh! <gasps> that makes it all worth it. To get a different colored Pokemon that's no stronger than a regular Pokemon, but hey, it looks cool. This later grows into an obsession that puts the shiny hunter on a mission to keep growing their shiny collection. You can oftentimes find the shiny hunter involved in communities such as Reddit or Discord. If you're looking for a community to join that's filled with positivity, check out my Discord below. Spending most of their time getting lost in the Hisui region, while the world may seem empty to some, and while I do agree, it could be better, it is a breath of fresh air to many, and for the first time in Pokemon history, we are able to see these Pokemon act as true living creatures, and experience on another level, like a childhood dream come true. The explorer is in no rush to beat the game fully, the explorer prefers to enjoy the game at their own pace, inside of the semi-open world. The explorer be the type of player that has a 6 star rank and hasn't even left the starter area. With all this added newness, it's easy for the explorer to just get sidetracked from the main quest and story, because with each new area unlocked, could be another 30 or 40 hours just exploring making sure everything has been seen and completed before moving on to the next area. Spending the majority of her time in the Hisui region training and slaying Pokemon, or just bopping them in the back of the head. Seriously though, why is bopping Pokemon in the back of the head so much fun? The Slayer loves farming XP and raising Pokemon to be the best they can be. And one thing's for sure, the Slayer and Alpha Blissey, well, let's just say that they're well acquainted with each other. The Slayer doesn't sell their grit items like some may do, but instead uses every last one of them to boost up their monsters. Someone once said, Pokemon are dangerous creatures. Well, the Slayer took that very seriously and has now made it their life mission to be the strongest OP trainer by battling, defeating, and catching them all and gets a lot of pleasure from that. Not to mention a nice ego boost after kicking everyone's booty. The Hustler's biggest goal here is to get rich. I mean, really rich. You'll find the Hustler always thinking of ways to get more bread, whether it be farming alpha Pokemon, selling their XP candies to shopkeepers, spawning space-time distortions so that they can collect all the shards, and craft them into beautiful expensive star pieces to sell or looking online for every bandit location so that they can easily get four nuggets to sell to the shopkeepers for an easy 40k a pop and after hundreds of hours of labor and all the money saved up the hustler can finally get what they've been hustling for all along and pays a visit to see the tom nook of pokemon legends and gives them a whopping one million dollars to finally achieve his lifelong dream of having a maxed out satchel was it worth it nah nah dude the quest seeker spends the majority of their time helping others and completing quests the quest seeker loves to take on any quest or challenge whether it be completing the main story collecting all the wisp or finishing the first ever pokedex for the professor and the quest seeker, well, they don't ignore side quests like some may do. If they don't do a side quest, they'll oftentimes feel like they're missing out on content or just a free shiny ponyta. In Pokemon Legends, a lot of side quests will allow you to unlock additional customizing content like getting new clothes or hairstyles from the shop just by doing their quest. In my opinion, Pokemon Legends doesn't have the best story and the story would be a lot more immersive with voice acting. Seriously though, why doesn't a billion dollar company have voice acting? 
Not gonna lie, it was kinda hard for me to know what was going on at times. And I admit, at times I was playing through the story passively. But if the Pokemon team keeps up this formula and perfects it, then who knows? Maybe in a few years from now, the story could be a real banger for me. One thing's for sure though, this game is fun and the gameplay is a blast. What type of Pokemon Legends player are you? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.